All right, family, get on the support of Mendez Swing and Mary Lee. Today is uh, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day 2022 in my city, Chicago. You see what that say? Somebody wrote land back. Now, who land is it? The world is my higher power, real talk. Nobody owns nothing, quiet scale. You ain't supposed to be selling land, motherfucker. You got homeless people chilling in the fucking goddamn parking on the side of the road, nigga. How come ain't nobody charging them nothing and shit? And eventually, I'm probably going to be homeless because that's what they're trying to do to me. You know, they hate. Tell me something. Why is this the same color of a uh, Subway sandwich and shit, nigga? Real talk. Because they would make you a happy meal in a minute, motherfucker. That's why. Shit. Hey, I'm streetwise to the day I die, nigga, and I'll never forget that. You understand? I knew it was something, but I didn't think it was all this. They put a lot of work into trying to kill the originals and especially me because I am the originator of rap music yeah man now Tupac's story was down here but hey, I caught up with the shit and the motherfuckers got them and, um, changed the narrative but they didn't change this they didn't change this for some reason why not this say America dot 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 first in prison, last in education. See, they are. If I would have known all this, I would have kept trying to figure shit out. I would have had a clue, but I didn't learn this until after they railroaded me May thirty first, two thousand eight, for so called disarming a police officer on the divine clock. Something I did not do because they wanted to usher in that new world order and shit. And my time had elapsed. I guess you know after about forty years, like in the Bible, or going in circles, getting nowhere fast. Shit. They was able to um, do their little plan and shit. It's a realize the dream. I'm realizing it. They want niggas behind bars like Jesse Solette and shit. He just got out or whatever. They want to pump that shit. You see the railroad? You see the railroad? Real talk. You see Bruce Lee? You know what I mean? They trying to say this is uh, they land and shit. How the hell is your land? God damn it. Not even Bruce Lee. Can't whoop a bullet ass. I told the motherfuckers in 1996, pull the fucking trigger, bitch, when they had the fucking guns in my head. Now all of a sudden niggas want to try to kill a nigga and shit. Ain't that a bitch? You had a chance, motherfucker, to get the land back if it was yours. I gave you permission. Now, if I die now, guess what? We all fucking die. That's my story. You're sticking with it. Real talk. You understand? Y'all heard goddamn Mystical when he said that shit. Not even Bruce Lee could whoop a bullet ass. Real talk. Now, for all you motherfuckers that took the bribe and don't want to tell the truth because, you know, I'm independent and I am. I'm independent, nigga. All motherfucking day. You understand what I'm saying? And forevermore. Real talk. Now, you can tell this used to be graffiti. You see? Peace, love, unity, fun. You understand? This was graffiti, right? And Tupac, they saw me when I did the video. Because if you were foreign and coming over in my land, it take a real motherfucker that's streetwise and from this motherfucker to tell what's going on, especially if they the main motherfuckers that they trying to kill. So you can see that wall has been changed. You understand what I'm saying? It was a bunch of... You know what I'm saying? So they don't care how much I know. They don't give a fuck. I can prove shit all fucking day and it still don't fucking matter. But yeah, Tupac face was on this goddamn wall because he freaking my goddamn city uptown and, and trolled me and shit. And they want to keep their little fucking goddamn shit, you know, whatever. But as you can see, that's my birthday right there. Five, two, five. Take the zero and the one out, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? saying? They want my fucking legacy. Oh, they want to... Do me like fucking goddamn Tupac and shit and kill me and shit. If, if that's the case, I don't think that's what happened, though. But, um, because, you know, I always warn motherfuckers and shit. But this is new and it's ugly. You know what I'm saying? Look how ugly that is. You know what I'm saying? That's some cheap ass shit, nigga. We do real shit, nice shit. You understand what I'm saying? This is kind of nice over here. But this look tacky as fuck, nigga. They should have just kept the goddamn picture. The mirror. Real fucking toast. Look at this. Now that motherfucker was supposed to keep going. He want to back his shit the fuck up. Because, you know, me and shit. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, they think they tough and shit. Why she just didn't go that goddamn way? Oh, they put down a, uh, a what's the name, all right? But yeah, that, nothing happened. Look, look, she done ran into the goddamn. Did she there hit your, look, she done ran into the. <laughs> she done ran into the goddamn. This why I don't get a car, nigga. You get a new car, these foreigners tear your shit up. She ran into. <laughs> she thought she was doing something, this shit. See, God don't like ugly. I'm here to tell you. This is why I don't fuck a drive, because they will tear your shit up and keep going. For real. Real fucking talk. Let's see. Is, is it any damage? Because she ain't going to do nothing but go get another one with my fucking money and shit. Look at that. Look at the goddamn mirror all to the side and shit. <laughs> look. Look at this. Look at the mirror all tore up and shit. <laughs> oh, boy. This is why I'm your ghetto news supporter, man. I do it right on the scene, nigga. For real. I ain't got time for it. Playing and shit. See, this is why Oprah couldn't be a goddamn news reporter because she knew it was based on me and shit. Real fucking talking. That's why she was doing all that crying. Shit, I'm getting more and more happier. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because this shit is really weird. Now, you got Kenny Max and shit. Everybody want my fucking name and shit, Mac. But ain't no motherfucking goddamn up early and shit. Now, you got six and two. That's eight. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the originator of rap music. It said where barbers and gentlemen meet. Yeah, and all they do is talk about real motherfuckers like me. I'm talking about they call the police. For what? Y'all motherfuckers is the thieves. Look, follow us on fucking goddamn, uh, uh, let's see. See, this is what they did to me when I had my little spot on, uh, damn, these motherfuckers got some prices too. Oh, I'm telling <laughs> Nice ass shit, but didn't want me to have shit. They saw my motherfucking spot at uh, Clark Mall. I had a big spot in the mall. And them motherfuckers hated so much, I had to downsize. And even the smaller spot was just as good as the as the, as the big spot and shit. For real. They be hating. The guys want to keep real girls out of fucking goddamn business and shit. You see this say Lee Land? It's my land, nigga. L-E-E. You know, it's just one E, but it's my shit. My name is Mary Lee, bitch. Let's see. Add these goddamn numbers up. You got 10, 17, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 43, 42. I think it add up to 42. 4 plus 2 is 6, nigga. Everybody using my shit up. All right, so what do I do about this is the question. What do I do about this shit? You know what I'm saying? They say don't leave before the miracle happens. I did miracle after miracle after miracle, and I still ain't getting nowhere, but these motherfuckers still got tinted windows. You understand what I'm saying? Look, he got it. Look, somebody put a dent in his shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you do the right thing. Somebody hat. You understand? All right, now this is the new Sarah Circle or whatever that they built with my money. I guess I talked about all that free money they was getting and shit. You understand what I'm saying? That they had to go ahead and build this motherfucker and shit. Now, if I needed help, trolls, if I needed help, you know what I'm saying? You think they'd give it to me because five and one is six. And everybody know at the age of six in 1973, I was in Chicago sometimes, newspaper for standing up for myself. Real fucking so. They got bus trackers and everything. Yeah, so I have yet to see how nice it is on the inside, but I bet to, since I've been poisoned twice with these people, they'll never accept me, but I, they ain't gonna have no choice to see if the time come for real. Real fucking so. Cause remember, they don't know me. You understand know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was with Sarah Circle, god dang it, down there in the, um, in the um, overnight part for one week and got poisoned twice in one week. I swear I felt like I was going to die. Nobody got poisoned but me. Nobody. Nobody said, are you all right? Just like in Atlanta and shit. So, you know, you know I'm going to have to kill me a motherfucker before it's over with, you know. I call it justifiable homicide. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Real talk, because you can't be doing any and everything to me thinking I'm going to just let you get away. These motherfuckers still smoking this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the fucking devil. Everything is closing down and shit. But I guarantee you, if I die, this shit will open up overnight and shit. 
So don't let motherfuckers deceive you. They act like he picking up trash. Yeah, right. They All they had to do was pick up the trash. I picked up goddamn motherfucking shit for free at the uh, East Coast Wagon Train program and the wilderness. You understand what I'm saying? And I guarantee you, everybody got paid. This my motherfucking money. See? See the breadcrumbs? My money. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, they look at me like I got something to offer them. I ain't got shit to offer these motherfuckers. I'm struggling too. Y'all need to... Look, why y'all leave me, motherfucking Oprah and all you motherfuckers and shit? How y'all gonna do me like this? Leave me with all these motherfuckers and shit? No one got them where these motherfuckers came for the gravy train. You understand? Y'all done promised them the world. They done heard about it. And they supposed to have got it. Because if I die, they said, yo, dead body be just what we need. If I die, we all die. Y'all supposed to save me like I saved y'all. That's the motherfucking goddamn, you know what I'm saying? End of the movie. That's the answer, nigga. You see this goddamn choice? 667. 1964. <sighs> All right, we don't know about the 1964, but this 667, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Age of six in 1973. And I was born in 1967. We all got a choice, nigga, to do the right thing. If you don't want to do the right thing, I understand. You can go to hell and shit. I don't give a fuck. But whoever left standing, I guarantee you, that's the one going to get it all and shit. And I said in 1995, my, um, look at this shit. This is how you know these motherfuckers ain't from around here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real fucking talk, man. Uh, I said in 1995, am my high power gonna give me everything I want at the same time? Real fucking tough. And I meant that shit. But I didn't I didn't mean it like I was gonna get the world. I thought I'd get a nice house, you know, my family back, you know, have some friends, everybody be happy, joyous and free like in AA. Shit. These motherfuckers building more shit with my money and without my permission. Then, goddammit. Then I can fucking stand this shit. You want some free clothes, all you gotta do is stand here before they put it in there. <laughs> I'll just tell you, I could be a fucking goddamn hustler, but I am an entrepreneur, bitch. This motherfucker say, live your story. Now, down the street, I stayed uh, 915 West Wilson. I'm just trying to tie up these loose ends, man. Real fucking talk. And they did more drinking, drugging, and smoking, and it was a hot mess. Bed bugs, roaches, you know, and mice and shit. But they treated me better than the motherfuckers where I stay at. That's supposed to be a recovery building. I'm telling you, I was guys, shoot. You know what I'm saying? One day, goddammit, I was so frustrated. I sat right in the middle of the street where that goddamn bus is at. I mean, where that truck is at or whatever and shit. And there the nigga that fucking hit me. That's how much fucking goddamn it. I ain't worried about a motherfucker killing me. Now these motherfuckers trying to get hard and shit. It's like, nigga, please, quit playing. Come on, champion. Come on, get on. Come on, come on with the champ. See, try to put them on. And then when I blow up, they're going to be like, see that champion on the, <laughs> on the shirt. And then you blow up. Then they be like, ah, I should have took that picture. See? You think Oprah Winfrey would have tried to stop her? For real? You know what I'm saying? To get get in on this here for real? I, now, I say I'm a real motherfucker. I'm going to be me till the day I die. These motherfuckers doing them. Think I ain't going to do me? Come on now. I can do this shit in my sleep now. So if that's all they want to do is drive around and act like they somebody, okay, cool. You was going to be somebody without all that bullshit you try to put on me. Hey, 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 Luther Vandross, she won't talk to me. I gave my story right here to this church, for real. My uh, uh, Ryan's Points of Better Force Plus One song and a whole bunch of shit and all these strip stores down the, um, yeah, mm hmm Act like you don't know me. I promise when the time comes, I'm going to do the same day up there, for real. And they still building shit with my money. They need to be kissing my fucking ass. You put your hands on me. It's over. A real church of the real God to the real world. So I gave it to the real so-called people, right? Yeah. Hmm. We shall see. I got five, five, five. That's 15 plus four. That's 19. 
and you wonder why I'm catching the hell. Peace.